Hi, my name's Gail Simmons, and I'm here with AV Club. Well, the thing about Top Chef is that I'm not in the kitchen during their cooks, so I actually never see the ingredients they go for until it's all spliced and edited together many months later when I watch it at the same time that you do. I first meet them at the judges table or at the challenge itself while I'm eating their food. So the first thing I notice is always their plate, how the plate looks, the presentation, and the attention to detail. It's very easy to spot sloppy cooking immediately. So we don't have this dichotomy of like terrible spit out food. That's not what Top Chef is about at all. But I will say that in the early years, it wasn't quite as polished as we are now. And there were some rough rides along the way, some bad flavor combinations I remember, things that are totally oversalted, and of course, a lot of things eaten raw that were not supposed to be raw, and vice versa. I'm always amazed at how much I learn, how much I have to learn, how I can you know, be an expert and a pupil at the same time, and that's why I love food so much. Although I try cooking everything, um, Szechuan cuisine, a lot of regional Indian cuisine, certainly, you know, South Asian and Southeast Asian food. I do cook some of it. I spent a relatively significant amount of time in Vietnam many years ago. But the one thing I learned is that even though it looks so simple and fresh and that half of it's, you know, like raw vegetables, that the amount of prep that goes into it, the nuance and the balance of salty, sour, sweet, bitter is so extraordinary and takes years of practice to perfect. I mean, I love the great British, British Bake Off and I would say searching for Italy with Stanley Tucci. You know, people I adore in the industry, everyone from Ina Garten to Michelle Obama, Michael Pollan, um, you know, so many great chefs from across the world who I would really love to be on the show.